Hi guys! In this free part tutorial, I will present how to create this architectural visualization from start to finish using 3ds Max software and the Corona render engine. I am Aga Klik and I run a YouTube channel and learning platform called Arvis Artist where I teach all about architectural visualizations and animations. Whenever I create an RVs image, I follow my 8-step system. In this part, I will present you the first three steps, which are composition, camera settings and lighting. Here is the model I have created for this tutorial. You can download it from my website so that you can practice with me on the same file. The link will be in the description below the video. I will start by creating a camera. In Create panel, go to the Camera section and choose a Corona camera. I will create it in the top view. To switch to the top view, click T on your keyboard. I want to be aligned with the side, so I will align the camera socket to the camera. The shortcut for this is Alt plus A. All we have to do is to choose the X axis. Great! I want to see the camera view on the right viewport. To do it, select the viewport and click C on your keyboard. Now we are in the camera view. You can see the perspective changes when I move the camera. I will move the whole camera up. Great! Next, let's specify the aspect ratio of the image. We have to open render settings and adjust it here. In the viewport, we have to enable save frames. Shift plus F shortcut. This way, we see the correct proportion. Now we can adjust the image aspect. I will go with 1.25 to 1. Then I will set the width of the image to 5000 pixels for the final render. Now, I can find the best place for my camera. The next step is to adjust the focal length of the camera. I will not go into details about camera settings in this tutorial. If you want to learn about this topic, I will link some of my tutorials in the description of this video. Basically, the smaller the number, the wider the perspective. Usually, when I set the camera, I use the composition script with the most popular composition rules. Here, let's go with the rule of thirds. I will set the focal length to 24. Awesome! Next, let's adjust the camera's target. I will point it up, so we see less ground and more sky. By doing so, we have a bit of the frog perspective. The vertical lines are not straight. In architecture photography, we usually make them straight by using a tilt shift lens. Here in this software, we can simply turn on this option to automatically correct the lines. I am happy with the camera. Let's move to the next step, which is lighting. I will use an HDR setup, which is basically the spherical image of the sky. I will open the Material Editor and the Environment tab. Then I will add a camera bitmap and choose my HDRI map. The next step is to add this bitmap to the environment. We can also preview it in the viewport. We can rotate the map. I will place the sunset on the left-hand side of the image. We can see some trees on the map. Let's move the whole map down by changing this value. Let's see how it looks on render. The image is a bit too bright, so let's lower the exposure. Great, next, let's add an RUL perspective. In the render settings, add a global volume material. Use Corona volume material. We have to bring it to the Material Editor to adjust the settings. Let's increase the distance, lower values will result in a denser fog. In the Scattering section, set the color to light grey and increase the directionality. I will also link to the detailed tutorial about this. We can see a fog now. It looks well in the background, but I don't want to have it in the building. I will increase the distance to lower the density. Later, I will show you how to increase this effect in post-production. Great! Next, let's add interior lights. I will create a sphere light and place it inside the building. We have to adjust the intensity and temperature. Lower values will make the light warmer. Nice! Let's copy this light to other rooms. I will edit the values so the lighting is not the same. It will make the image more interesting.
Here I will keep the same values. Let's add a light to the top room too. I will set up the light mix. This way we can edit the lights during or even after rendering. I will use the Instance option. Instances will be on the same layer. As you can see, we can completely turn off the light or edit its intensity or color. Great progress so far! Let's stop here. In the next part, we'll work on materials and assets. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for the new videos.